dear students today let us see let us continue the adaptation for feeding in the previous class we have seen herbivores carnivores and omnivores in today's class we will see scavengers and parasites what are scavengers scavengers are the animals that eat other dead animals scavengers are the scavengers are the animals that eat other dead animals they eat other dead animals Animals have 
of different body types that help them to protect themselves from other animals let us see adaptation for adaptations of body adaptations of They have got strong legs. Through the help of strong legs, they can run very fast to protect themselves from other animals. Deers and zebra can run very fast to protect themselves from other animals. Next, let us see tiger and zebra. Tigers and zebras have got stripes on their body. You can see stripes, isn't it? The zebra has got black and white stripes on their body. These stripes help them to hide from the other animals and they can hide through the surrounding. Isn't it? Tigers and zebras have got stripes which help them to hide in the surroundings. This feature is called as camouflage. This feature is called as this feature is called as camouflage. If you have seen chameleon, it can change its color. The chameleon can change its color. It will change its color with the surrounding. The chameleon will change its color with the surrounding. And also the stick insect. The stick insect looks like a stick. The stick insect looks like a stick. This is known as camouflage. The chameleon can change its color with the surrounding and also the stick insect looks like a stick. You can see the pictures of these animals and insects in the textbook. Please go to the images. Next, let us see some other animals. The horn of the rhinoceros and the shell of the tortoise and also the spines of the porcupine help them to protect themselves from the other animals. The rhinoceros has got horn. The rhinoceros has got horn and tortoise has got strong shell. It has got very hard shell. And the porcupine. The porcupine 
is called spines. Okay, the rhinoceros has got horn and the tortoise has got shell, very hard shell, and porcupine has got spines. These features help the animals to protect themselves from other animals. Next, let us see adaptations in behavior. Adaptations in behavior. Adaptations in behavior. Some animals like elephants, deer, and fish live in a group. Animals like elephant, deer, and fish live in a group. They live in a group. Animals like elephants, bee and fish live in a group to protect their young ones. To protect their young ones. These animals live in a group to protect their young ones. Next, some animals like cuttlefish and squid. Some animals like cuttlefish. Cuttlefish and squid. Some animals like cuttlefish and squid release a ink. They release ink ink like liquid release ink like liquid to protect themselves from their enemies the fish cuttlefish and squid release ink like liquid to protect themselves from other animals. Next, the animal called skunks. The animal named skunks release a very strong smell to protect themselves from other animals. The animal named skunks, they release Strong smell to protect from their enemies. Okay, the animal name skunks they release strong smell to protect themselves from. protect themselves from enemies. To protect themselves from enemies. Elephants, bees and fish. Some of the animals like elephants, bees and fish live in a group to protect their young ones. Next, the animals like cuttlefish and squid release a inky liquid. Okay, they release a ink like liquid that has got different colors like blue, brown, dark blue. 
okay they release this liquid to protect themselves from other animals and the animal name skunks release strong smell to protect themselves from enemies to protect themselves from enemies this completes the chapter animal adaptations if you have got any doubts you can ask me i'll clarify your doubts thank you